The Chinese space station cost tens of billions to build. After comparing it with the International Space Station, even the United States wants to cooperate. Let's take a closer look in this video. Since the first time humans traveled in space and set foot on the moon for the first time, space exploration has become the focus of the world. With the continuous advancement of technology, many countries have begun to build their own space stations. Among them is China, which has also completed the personnel handover mission of the Chinese space station several times, and plans to complete the first manned moon landing plan in the next few years. So, how to evaluate the difference between China's space station and the International Space Station? At the end of 2022, China will carry out the last mission in the construction phase of the space station. After the launch of the Shenzhou 15 manned spacecraft, it means that the basic construction phase of the Chinese space station has been completed. After being ridiculed by the West for wasting money, Chinese scientific researchers immediately slapped their faces with their strength. In the past 20 years, China's various launch experiences have demonstrated the various advanced technologies carried in the Tianhe core cabin and demonstrated the powerful performance of this space station to the West. After such a slap in the face, the West gave in and sought cooperation, including Europe and the United States. The Chinese space station and the International Space Station are two different space research projects. Among them, the development of the Chinese space station began in 1992. The Chinese space station is called Tiangong, the core module is called Tianhe, the cargo spacecraft is called Tianzhou, and the experimental module is called Wentian and Mengtian. The International Space Station began in the 1990s. The two space stations are similar and different in many aspects. In terms of structural design, the Chinese space station uses the independently developed Tianhe core module and Mengtian space laboratory, which are connected by a configuration conversion section. The length, width, and height of the Tianhe Core cabin are 16.6 meters x 4.2 meters x 4.8 meters, and the maximum docking jack weight is 100 tons. In contrast, the International Space Station design uses scaled modules, including a core module and multiple laboratories, space capsules, and other modules, with a total volume of approximately 50,000 cubic meters. In terms of launch and assembly, the Chinese space station launches the core module and laboratory into space through multiple space launches, and then assembles them through the cabin conversion section for deployment, testing, and positioning. The International Space Station uses a module carried by the U.S. Space Shuttle to assemble multiple components and transport some components from the Earth laboratory to the space laboratory. The Chinese space station will provide a number of scientific missions, technology verification, and life support experiments, including exploration missions to the Moon and Mars. The scientific experiments of the International Space Station cover many fields such as basic physics, life sciences, medical sciences, industrial production, and astrophysics. The Chinese space station will cooperate with some foreign space agencies. For example, the China Space Administration and the European Space Agency will jointly launch a physics experiment project called EO. The International Space Station is jointly participated and constructed by the United States, Russia, Europe, Canada, and Japan. In addition, the two space stations also differ in other aspects. For example, there are many ships around the International Space Station that can perform refueling or transport missions. The Chinese space station requires the refueling and supply spacecraft to be accurately positioned and adjust its own orbit, 
which relatively reduces the difficulty of operation. It also requires technical efficiency and long-term reliability. In addition, the management models of the two parties are very different. The International Space Station is a consortium of space agencies representing the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan and Canada. This means that the management and supervision of the space station requires the consent of these national agencies, and the space representatives of each country have their own powers. The Chinese space station only has the participation of the Chinese government, and it does not need to go through multinational approval and power supervision. Therefore, its planning and construction speed will be much faster than that of the International Space Station, and its maintenance and adjustment costs will be relatively low. In terms of cost investment, according to reports, China spent tens of billions of dollars building a space station over 20 years. This price is only equivalent to about one-third of the construction cost of the International Space Station. This means that China can build a complete space laboratory faster and more economically. The International Space Station took more than 10 years to build by multiple countries and cost more than 150 billion US dollars. China's space station is comparable to the International Space Station in scale, takes less time, and uses less money. This is a reflection of China's rising national power and scientific and technological strength. However, the Chinese space station inevitably faces various problems and challenges. The Chinese space station is entirely built by China, which means that the shortcomings of the Chinese space station are also very obvious. It lacks international cooperation and coordination in scientific experiments and management. In this way, the development and application level of various scientific experiments and equipment in the station are limited. At the same time, due to the lack of supervision by external authorities, the management of crew members will also have China's own unique characteristics. Secondly, the assembly and construction of the space station require overcoming numerous technical difficulties to ensure its safety and stability. During this docking, the Tianhe-1 core module and the Tianzhou-2 experimental module successfully overcame the complex environment and the influence of multiple factors, demonstrating the outstanding capabilities and innovative spirit of Chinese aerospace technicians. Another challenge is the operation of the space station, which requires a large supply of energy and resources. Therefore, ensuring the continuous supply of energy and resources has become one of the key issues. China has established a dedicated technical team dedicated to R&D and innovation to find more efficient and sustainable energy and resource supply methods to ensure the normal operation of the space station. In addition, maintaining the internal environment of the space station, establishing a complete life support system, and repairing and extending the life of the spacecraft are also important issues that need to be solved urgently. China is carrying out a series of technological breakthroughs and research work. Through the combination of introduction and innovation, a series of new technologies and processes have been gradually formed to provide strong support for the construction of the Tiangong Space Station. The International Space Station project is jointly constructed, operated, and used by 16 countries. It is the largest, longest, and most time-consuming international space cooperation project in history. Since the station was officially established in 1998, after more than 10 years of construction, the construction task was completed in 2010 and it entered the full use stage. In February 2022, NASA announced that it plans to destroy the International Space Station in 2031 and the wreckage 
will sink into the uninhabited Point Nemo in the South Pacific. That is to say, by 2031, there will be only one Chinese space station left in space. The International Space Station is the largest space platform in orbit. It is a space laboratory with modern scientific research equipment that can carry out large-scale, multidisciplinary basic and applied scientific research. It provides a large number of experimental loads and resources for carrying out scientific experimental research in a microgravity environment and supports long-term residence in Earth orbit. This collaborative model allows countries to share resources and knowledge and to make greater progress in scientific research. In contrast, cooperation projects of similar scale between China and other countries are still in their infancy. According to reports, China and the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs will soon carry out experiments on the space station for the first batch of international cooperation project payloads. Ten space application projects jointly implemented with ESA are also progressing in an orderly manner. The cooperation covers areas such as spacecraft technology, space science experiments, and astronaut selection and training. So far, China has signed cooperation framework agreements with the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, the European Space Agency, and space agencies of Russia, France, Germany, Italy, and Pakistan. Among them, some cooperation projects have been successfully implemented, and more cooperation projects around the Chinese space station are brewing and incubating. China's space station is an important milestone in China's manned spaceflight cause and an important platform for China to participate in international space exploration cooperation. The construction and operation of China's space station will provide Chinese and global scientists with an advanced space science and technology research and experiment platform provide advanced space technology services for economic and social development, and make pioneering contributions to the peaceful use of space for mankind. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.